thesofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour Hey, tell you oh. what What a clock, can't you? You may notice that things are slightly different tonight and there's a reason for that They are very different game, We have Eh? Sir? Wait, wait <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, uh, if I was interrupting, bad manners, maybe that. Bad manners? Yes. Uh huh. Buster Blood Vessel, he was in there. Right. Where was I? What was I saying? I know. I'll, I'll do it the easy way. I've got my own bloody camera. Right. Hello, viewer. Nice to see you. Things have changed. You may have noticed last night I said that uh, things were, yeah, not overly grand with Justin TV, and I can say it properly now. They were messing us about, something chronic. So we've changed providers, and this is like a pilot. And it's fallen to yours truly on Valentine's Day, nonetheless, um, to, to try out this new service provider that we're using. And thus far, it looks canny. Now, tonight is all in 480p, so don't get your is in a twist if it looks weird and soft and stuff like that. That's the way it is. But I'm going to ask you if you'll do me a favour, please. Will you please hang around till the end of the show? Because at the end of the show, I want to try 720p and see who can get it and see how low we can go to get a reasonable picture so that we can put out high definition that everybody can get. This is the crux of the matter. This is where it's going to be. Um, and that will be after we've gone through the show. Now, I'm going to play the titles in because my clack's getting dry. I think that's the safest thing to do. Um, and I can see chat as well, which I haven't intended to be able to do. But it's up behind you, actually, Daz. If you look. Oh, so it is. There yes. you go. Oh, Chat's behind you. Yes. And that, that's you up there. Yes, amazing, so it isn't is. It? Absolutely amazing. Right. Uh, I think we'll, we'll, yes, we will. We'll go to the titles and then we'll do the show. It's all <laughs> going to be fun tonight, isn't it? Oh, definitely. And this show is called All Together Now. <laughs> There you go, that was the titles. And did we say it was called The Hairs Hour? I think so, yes. May I introduce you to my partners in crime tonight? Over on the right hand side, we have the slightly effervescent red headed loveliness. That is Darren Johnson, a grand lad who's uh, part of the team, part of the furniture. Love him a lot, he's brilliant. And in the middle, the welcome return. <laughs> <laughs> of the rose between the two swords. I'm pleased you said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to see a piggy in the middle. Yeah. We were going to yeah. see a piggy in the middle, but we've got Keith back, and it's uh, it's it's an auspicious one for Keith to come back actually, because tonight, tonight, we have the janty mid in the wild, the real I am, top and bottom of it, and we've even even got the software. It's there. There's the software running on a Windows machine. Yes, don't blame me, it wasn't my particular choice, but that's that's just the way it goes. So yes, we've got all kinds of stuff going on tonight because Daz has even brought next to, next to a full 100 mil bottle of Grant's vanilla <laughs> custard. Um, <laughs> and you can smell it. It's very nice. Uh, yes, it's it's it, the the uh, no. <laughs> Any of you that have ever tried, I've I've not tried it before tonight, and and I'm going to be having a look at it. But you were saying it it smells of Grant's vanilla custard in here, Keith. Uh, well, a bit like snorting custard powder, isn't it? <laughs> when was the last uh, time you custard. snorted custard powder? It's like the next thing I would imagine. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes. So tonight, because we weren't, I wasn't expecting the janty maid coming. I should give you the, the story, really. I got a Skype to say uh, from Toby at iVapor, Toby Oop North, as everybody says. Um, he said, have you got a janty maid coming? And I said, no. Why? He says, because there's one here for you. It's lovely. So I jumped in the car 
and hurtled off down to York with my glorious my wife, my Valentine, uh, my wife of 35 years, as of two nights ago, um, oh. shot off down to York, and uh, we picked it up, and I'm here to tell you that none of the three of us know anything about it, do we? No. no. Nothing. Haven't even opened the box. We well, haven't. I've, I've installed the software, and that's it. I haven't played with it, I haven't tried it. I've filled the cartomizer up, and but so we'll have a look at that in the second of the three halves. But prior to that, you might have seen on the telly behind um, these two here, the two good looking ones, as I like to put it. <laughs> the second of the three halves. I'm trying to mathematically work that out. It's it's the better you than me. The second of the three halves. This is a show of three halves. Right. Everybody I knows that. Know that. It's a show of three halves. Right. First half, middle half, and the end half. End half. Right. Thanks for clarifying. It's all right. I was never any good at fractions. Right. <laughs> Don't bother me particularly. So where were we going? Yes, in the first half, as I said, behind behind the two good looking ones, you'll see on the screen, I've got a video lined up, which is all very good. And we're going to play it in. And this, if you haven't seen it, this is the video that the BBC played. And you might have heard last night, I was making refer reference to um, a lady and calling her a numpty. And if you haven't seen this, you'll, you'll show, soon find out why. It's going to come up on that telly, gentlemen. I shall press play. And then I'm off to the a busy pub and at first a rather shocking sight. It looks like they're smoking. This is what people here are using. It's an electronic cigarette. It comes in two parts. In this end, there's liquid nicotine, which is vaporized by a battery in this end. It gives the user a hit of nicotine without the tar. And it's the tar in ordinary cigarettes that kills. What looks like smoke is largely water vapor. I've tried patches and um, inhalators, that sort of thing before. Um, I think they're a lot better because you get obviously the vapour so it feels more like you're having a cigarette. I think they're a great idea actually. You've got the health benefits from it. And well, it does taste like a cigarette. The e-cigarette market is growing fast. The number of users expected to reach a million this year. Some medical experts see huge potential benefits. Nicotine itself is not a particularly hazardous drug. Something on a par with the effects that you get from caffeine. Professor John Britton leads the tobacco advisory group for the Royal College of Physicians. If all the smokers in Britain stopped smoking cigarettes and started smoking e-cigarettes, we would save five million deaths in people who are alive today. A big claim. There are, however, concerns about the safety and regulation of e-cigarettes. They can legally be sold to children. There are no restrictions on advertising. Some critics say it glamorises something that looks like smoking. And unlike patches or gum, e-cigarettes aren't regulated like medicines. It means there are no rules, for example, about the purity of the nicotine in them. Are e-cigarettes safe? The simple answer is we don't know whether e-cigarettes are safe. It's going to take some time before we do because we'll need to see them in use uh, and to study very carefully what the effects of e-cigarettes are. I would either take them off the shelves or I would uh, very heavily regulate them so that we knew that the contents of each was very fixed. This is an e-cigarette company in Manchester. The health regulator, the MHRA, is now looking closely at companies like this to see if they need more stringent regulation. Here, they say they take safety seriously, but accept rules for the whole industry need to be tightened. We would welcome regulation that ensures that the product can't be sold to anyone under the age of 18. Uh, and secondly, also okay. to regulate the purity and the quality of the liquid that goes into these products. Many questions remain. Should this be allowed in a public place? At this IT office, employees can use e-cigarettes. Other companies have banned it. But as demand grows, this may become a much more common sight in the future. There now, and I'm sorry that you were able to hear our voices over the top of that video. You might have heard some of the comments, and I'm not taking any of them back. I'm really not. That that um, that annoyed me more than somewhat that did uh, towards the end of that. Mm. When you consider that Professor John Britton, who you saw halfway through, um, was saying that 500, what, 5 million deaths would be saved 
Yes. Of people that are currently alive, if everybody used e-cigs. And he's a member of the BME. Mm. And he, he leads the uh, tobacco group on the BME. And um, for another BME member to turn around and say, I'd take them off the shelves. He just, it's, it makes no sense to me. Is that what, I, I, I couldn't catch what you yeah, were I saying. Yeah, I didn't turn is, it right. Is, okay. that, is that what you were saying? Yes, if it was up to her, she'd take them off the, off the shelves or she would regulate them very, very tightly. Well, on what grounds? On the grounds that she doesn't like the idea, I don't think, of people enjoying themselves. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Mm. I'm absolutely certain that's what it is, in fact. Absolutely certain. Um, I mean, when you look at this, <laughs> when you look at what chat is saying now, um, Midge Dog's saying that... Tax, tax, tax. Yeah, just looking mm, at. yeah that's, that's what they're saying, tax, tax, tax. And, and then, you know, it annoys me how what he said was dismissed, dismissed by saying a big claim and then changing the subject. Yeah. This... It's it's symptomatic of what's going on, and it's it's and yes, Sea Biscuits got it right. She had fun once. Mm. It was um, awful. A long time ago. Long time <laughs> ago. Yes, and it's that's it's just it's just not good. Yes, I, I won't read out um, the rest of what's on here uh, because there are some people who are suggesting a fit worse than death <laughs> for Ms. Nathanson, and and I probably better take it. Uh, Yes, I better take it off the telly as well, mm. and we'll uh, we'll minimate that and get it out of the way. I think is what we'll do. Um, so yes, it, it's it's kind of all good stuff, I suppose. But you've had a bit better news, have you not, young dad? Yes, I have. I've been paying attention. You have. I have. I've been really good, and I've been paying attention. Mm. And uh, following on from the last couple of weeks since everything came up to do with the EU, I took it upon myself this week to write my MP. Right. And, what, uh, what's his name? Uh, Graham Morris. Graham Morris. Graham Morris, MP for Labour. Easington. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Right. Yes. And he's a Labour MP. He is. It's quite important this because we've noticed that a lot of the uh, a lot of the, the parties appear to have kind of a boilerplate thing mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. So what did you get? Well, what I did was, because when I wrote the letter, the thing that I was concerned about was that I might not know enough to, for my letter to be kind of warranted. Um, so what I did was I wrote in my my story kind of thing in my terminology. <clears throat> and what impressed me was uh, I sent it on a Tuesday and I got a letter on a Thursday, uh, two days later. Letter or an uh, email? A letter. That's letter. I, I hand wrote a letter to him and he wrote back to me, the, uh, not the next day, but but the day after. Excellent. Uh, so that would have been yesterday. In base, uh, what it says in the letter um, is it says that he is fully aware of uh, the situation to do with the EU directive. Mm -hmm. um, he is in, uh, he's currently contacting Jeremy Hunt, the secretary of... He's the health minister. The health minister, sorry. Health minister. Uh, yes, um, he's in contact with Jeremy Hunt. He's waiting for a response back um, he, he was very, very kind to tell me a bit about the background about it to make me understand it a bit more. And what he also said was when he gets the response back, he wants to meet me and uh, he, to discuss the matter further. One of the things, I mean, out, out of um, the what he said in the letter as well, what I was concerned about, which he seems to have a pretty good grasp of, was... He said in the letter about people recognise some people recognise in vaping as a quitting aid, but some people recognise it as a substitute. So mm. it wasn't all down one avenue of this quit thing. Yes, yes. Yes. You know, it goes down like looking at it at both sides. Um, and the one thing that I thought, which I will look forward to, is um, I don't know if he's if he's got the full grasp of it because the letter went on to say about. Um, kind of went down the pre cartomizer route mm -hmm. and about the regulation mm -hmm. of nicotine that way. But I don't know whether he's been educated enough about e-liquid and the, the different strengths right. of e-liquid and where that part of it comes right. into. And I'm really, really looking forward to having that meeting with him to say, you know, these are uh -huh. the kinds of different things that you get with it and what can I do, you know. So he's, he's kind of, he's looking to you as, as a current user to yeah. go and inform him 
how you use. Mm -hmm. is, do you know if he's opening that door to, to anybody else yes. in your constituency? Yes, he did. I mean, basically, the, the, there was another constituent, what he said, who was already addressed it to him, which has made him oh, already thanks. take it into to sort of like down the route, so to speak. So it's not brand new to him. He is fully aware. When I, when I read up about it, interestingly enough, um, because on the website, when you look at your MP, you can find out like different things, what they've done. Yeah. And interestingly enough, he'd never voted f uh, for or against the smoking ban. Right. Um, and when you look at a bit about his background, he's very, very much towards the health perspective right. within the government. Um, so I think he would be a very, very good, you know, representative um, who would work up, who could work on our behalf in mm. hand with mm. my, uh, with the MEP, who seems to be doing a, an awesome job. But that's well, all a very impressive reaction, isn't it? I, I, I must admit, because I mean, I've read some of the, I've read, I've read um, some of the responses and obviously it's mm. not a random template that MPs are using. This is somebody who's took the time to sit down yeah. and think about what the what the word saying when they're all back to me, you know, so and not it's, just it's not a boilerplate. Yeah, yeah, and I mean I'm not fully into politics, but no. you do watch some shows where you feel like they may sway and avoid the issue somehow. Yeah. But I don't feel that that happened on on this occasion. I feel that you know he's really really took on board what I've got. So it wasn't really just weasel words no, from no, him at all. Absolutely oh, not. Absolutely not. Well, some of the comments that are coming up in chat. Uh, Sam Munro has said that you should probably expect a copy of the same letter that I went through last night. Yes. From Jeremy Hunt. He, he did mention that in the letter and said once he gets the response, he's going to then write to me um, with the the the. I think he quoted it as the minister's report, or, uh, or some, reply. Reply, the minister's probably. reply, yeah. um, in which once I get that reply, that's when he wants to meet up to right. discuss mm -hmm. about the uh, the reply from the from the minister. So that it basically he's going to go through the reply from the minister and ask yes. you to answer the criticisms. Mm -hmm. oh, that's as well we did the show last night, maybe. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. I must admit, I'm, I'm I am optimistic that mm. the guys asked you to go and meet with him mm -hmm. because under normal it, it mm. seems mm. there's a lot of people are having <coughs> trouble getting meetings yeah. with MPs and MEPs even mm. though they've all got surgeries and, well not the MEPs but MPs have surgeries mm. so I think it's good that, that he's invited you to go yeah. along yeah. and certainly I'm going to be seeking another meeting with my MP mm. to run through the reply and point out to her Possibly not at the same length, <laughs> because I wasn't expecting taking all night last night, but I, I want to go through with her what, what we went through last night and, yes. and kind of make the points that we made then. Mm -hmm. Are you, what about, do you fancy going to see Bridget Phillipson at some point? Yeah, yeah. Because I think, I think somebody with your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Come on, Martha. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not being funny. I'm. I'm. I'm actually. I actually am quite serious here. But the, the level of seriousness that you've got. Do you know what I mean? Your. Um, I know the word, and it won't come. I'm getting <laughs> old. Yeah. You're yeah. not cashier, but your gravitas. That's the word. The gravitas. The Keith gravitas. I think would go a long way towards swaying, Ms. Phillipson. Oh, I'd be quite happy to meet her. Yeah. Right. I shall. Uh, I shall get hold of her and find out when her next sugary is and uh, having discovered when the sugary is then I shall make appointments for both of us, shall I? Yes, we could go along and uh, usually on a Friday and It is, yes, is. yeah, usually on a Friday but yes, <laughs> I mean, if, if you haven't already like we said last night, Daz has done it and that that's really encouraging that I didn't expect it I, I did ask in the letter and I did say you know I was keen to, to meet up with him in, in one of his surgeries and when I got the response that I did and especially after um, Mitch very kindly put the, the thread on the forum <coughs> and when I read Mitch's you know I'd already got my response but if I hadn't have got that, I wouldn't have expected the response, definitely not that I got. Well, I must admit, when you posted it up and I read it in our chat, I thought, way, what's this? <laughs> it's, it's, it's an MP thinking for himself. Yes, exactly. And exactly. Not, not torn any part well, of the line. May, maybe if he, if he sort of hands his hat on this issue, he may, uh, he may even be happy to ask questions in yeah. in the House. Absolutely. That's Or yeah. make representations to... The, the Commons Committee that deals with health issues. I tell you what, I think I think if enough of us 
get out and see our MPs, at some point they're going to have to bring it up on the floor of mm. the House because they're going to hopefully get inundated with people going and saying, Oi, we don't like this, mm -hmm. we need this sorted out, thank mm -hmm. you very much. Mm -hmm. And by the way, that reply you've had from Mr Hunt, not the Liverpool pronunciation, mm. that reply you've had from Mr Hunt, um, this is wrong with it, that's wrong with it, this is wrong with it, that's wrong with it, and just go down that line. I think that would be, that would work out extremely well, I think. Um, which, strangely enough, has taken us to roughly where the adverts are, mm. and then people are going to be bouncing up and down. I think, probably wanting to know a little bit about this here janty mid. So when mm. we come back after the adverts, there'll be an unboxing. It will. And it'll be a real one. Oh my goodness. It'll all be fun. I've got no idea what it's gonna do. <laughs> I've read all, I've read everything I can read, but we've finally got hands on. So we shall be back in a couple of minutes, give or take 10 or 11 seconds. Mm. When we get back, we're gonna look at the mid and see how it goes. Back in two. in Yorkshire for your EC needs. That's iVeber.co.uk and iVeber-elixir.co.uk iVeber and iVeber-elixir.co.uk are proud sponsors of VeberTrails.tv And we're back in the room. We are back in the room. Now, before we go into the janty mid thing, I just saw in chat, which has reminded me, somebody asking about Vapex. Um, there is a statement up on the Vapex website, I believe, but bottom line on it is, cutting a very long story short, Vapex 2013 will not be going ahead. Um, given the current uncertainties, because we don't know where anything is, and because we couldn't get the assurances that we needed, um, from the venue, uh, in other words, they, they, they wouldn't allow us to cancel late enough should the worst happen. Uh, we considered it to be prudent not to get everybody's hopes up and for the moment it is, I'm going to say postponed, it's put on the back burner until we know a little bit better <coughs> what's going on. If anything changes, of course, we'll bring you the news as soon as we can. That's bad news. Here's good news, we think. There's a mid. Let's go to closey up, cam and have a look at the box and the mid itself and there it is look the mid one series that's it there and this is it in its box if you can see that um it's all black it's very very black mm. um there are i don't really know what i can tell you as i say i've just taken it out of the box and i've put two batteries in it and i haven't really played with it that much what I do know is there's a light there that lights up blue. And I do know if you push forward on this joystick with an adapter on, uh, not an adapter, with an atomizer on, it gets hotter. That's about as much as I know. So as you can see, it's going redder and redder. Yeah. And if you press it again, it goes back to where it was. You press it down, it goes bluer and bluer and cooler and cooler. And as I say, that is about it's about as much as I know. Um, and what I'm going to do, I think, good thing, this is the, um, the cartomizer that comes with it. Right. And it's, it's a, it's a form-filled form cart. Or if we, we stick it on uh, closely up, you come again. 
you'll see. Mm. It's, it's a foam-filled cart or mm. very reminiscent, in fact, of the old fartos. You won't remember those, Daz. No. But basically, they were a, they were a fat cartomizer. Right. <coughs> now, we don't know whether this is single coil, dual coil. We, we don't actually know what it is. We're in a situation where we don't know much about this at all. Um, and one of the first things I did when I got this home, there you go, have a play, was to take out everything that was in the box to see what was in the box. And what was in the box was the lead. That's it. No instructions. No instructions. No instructions. So I thought, right, best thing I can do is go to the, uh, the Janty Mid website mm -hmm. and see if I can find some documentation there. So I went to the Janty Mid website and I'll, I'll, I'll show you that. I'll take it full screen. And uh, it said here, it said, it said, go and have a look. So I went and had a look and I clicked on documentation. Click. And I'll click again. Click. You can see, look. Click, 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 click. Click as much as you like. And it stays on the same page. As in, as yet there is no documentation. Now I'm pretty sure that this is the first one in the wild and it's pre-production. I'm pretty sure it's not the finished item. Yeah. All right. I am pretty sure it's not the finished item, but we actually have one in our hands. Um, whoops. I'm sorry. Not in the place to bit, Dad. I knew that would be the case. Oh, what Please you forgive now? me. I'll right. just hold have, you, have you killed it? I've killed it. I'll You've just hold it. it. You just hold it. I'll just hold it. Right. So what do you, what do you make of it so far? I like the finish. It's a very, um, it reminds me of like a chalkboard finish. Right. I don't mm. know if that makes sense. I, I, it I'm doesn't saying. make sense yeah. to me. Um, it's 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 very. You know, it's it's a, it's comfortable. Yeah, it is. It is like a chalk. That's it's a like good a way of describing finish. it. Mm. Like you mean like a blackboard paint? Yes. 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 I want to see what you make of that. I've never tried vaping. I didn't know if there was any. I Why didn't know I if you'd it? filled it. Now, what I can see from here is, is Keith's finger is, is pushing up slightly on the button and the colour on the LED is changing as you go on. Is that intentional? Yes. It is. You're getting it hotter? Yes. All right. Very much so. Did can you do you that? I didn't, but can you feel it getting hotter yes. as you're vaping it? Yeah? Yes. And if you press it down, it goes cooler. Yes. I mean... Taking it up when it changes colours too hot for me, but hmm. the bit I and again this is it's completely off the cuff, completely off the cuff. I would have thought just off the top of my head that as you made it hotter, once you'd got it to the temperature you wanted it, that when next you pressed the button just straight up and down it would stay there. Mm -hmm. But apparently not. No, doesn't appear like, to. I'll, doesn't I'll, I'll go on. To, I'll go on. To, ugly mug cam <coughs> and try and do it so people can see so if I that's that's blue and as I'm pushing up I obviously wasn't it's not a bad vape mm. You can. You, it's like you can as you're pushing it. You can hear it getting you can. hotter and hotter. You can. That, that exactly. Yes, that's <laughs> that's getting uh, that's getting really really rather warm. Um, but it, it's still. I mean, it was and produced. Could you lot. feel the heat as you as it was getting hotter while you were holding it? Yes. You could. Yes. It was really pronounced. I mm -hmm. thought. You can. Yeah, it's like you can hear it getting yeah. hotter. It's like a chip pan heating up. Can you hear a whine out of it? No. No, just a crackle. I would it's describe just a, it as crackle. a crackle. Well, I can hear a whine. Hang on. Don't know if anybody can hear that. I can't hear that. Yeah, it's, it's being covered a little bit by the uh, the background noise in the studio, but it is whining. Do you mind if I... You, you go for it. Because I'm I'm, I'm, like I say, what I'm... you think when you... Uh... Yeah, I can see the red coming up. Yeah. 
And you can hear that crackle build. Oh, you can. You can. You can feel it getting hotter. You really can. It's, it's much hotter, isn't it? It is. And I don't know if I would like that, though. Me. Because I, I don't really like my vape that hot. No, that would be too too hot for me, yes. definitely. Yes. I, 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 it's hottest. <coughs> yes. As it goes up. Yes. Yeah, it's it's being able to find somewhere to, to park it. Mm. And I don't quite know. But of course you can't park it with the PA, well, can you? Well, without documentation, there's no way <coughs> no. of knowing. Really. I'm, I, I don't think there's anything... You see, that just slides without yes. you being able to sort of... Yes. ...hold it in position mm -hmm. on, on its own. Because you can hear it fire, obviously, when you press it, but yeah. not. But, but as soon as you press it up... They, yeah, it's like you can hear it getting hotter. Yeah. As it's, yeah. Well, as if it's if going. I'll, I'll, I'll stick it beside the microphone and uh, and we'll do it that way and, and try and, I don't know whether, whether it'll all be visible at all. Hello, there we go. As it gets hotter, yeah. it, you can hear it crackling more and it's producing more. Um, I mean, I don't think I've seen one that, no. that, that, where, where the sound is so yeah. pronounced as that. A dual coil card or tank, you get that sort <laughs> of crack. <coughs> oh dear. Yeah, you, Bloody hell. Mm. Pardon exactly. me. Excuse my French, <laughs> dear viewer. I'm very sorry about that. Mm. Wow. I was going to say a dual coil tank, you get that sort of crackle. Um, and it is quite pronounced and it's quite distinct and it's it's just like that but but on a heat perspective it, it, it is definitely a lot hotter and I don't know what to make of that no God and Ben I've got no idea what that's getting up to but you get that going right up to the top end as quick as you <coughs> can and it by yeah. gums it doesn't half bang it out I think I've killed it. I don't think you will have, but I think yeah. it'll want more juicing. Yeah, I think it might. You, you see, you would think there would be a way where you can set it to what you would want it to be. Well, funny you should mention that. <coughs> we uh, we have we have <laughs> yeah exactly. <coughs> <coughs> oh God, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I think Andy certainly needs to try. <laughs> With 45 milligram yeah. dosage. Yeah, absolutely. I tell you what, let's, I mean, as I was saying earlier on, this is, this is how it's, it's very, very first. This is first steps, baby steps. So I'm going to plug it in. And again, I would have expected that it would be a little light comes on to tell yeah. you that it's plugged yeah. in, but apparently not. So if we click on device here, and I'll, Go on to close you up your cam and see if we can see what we can see. I don't know whether that's particularly legible. It's it's a PC and I can't actually get the PC to talk to everything else. So it looks as though it's picked up all the stuff, right? Mm -hmm. We've got its serial number. We've got all the rest of the... And, and Windows is telling us it's found new hardware. Right. So that's okay. Um, state colour. Windows is fit. Yeah, oh Lord, it's no, I don't want to restart my computer. I've all, Lord above. I've restarted this twice now, installing this software. Have not? Yes, you have. And why, why it thinks it wants to restart again, I just do not know. It makes no sense to me, whatever. It's found it, the mid software's found it. So where we go from there, I don't know. Let's, I'll try clicking on state colour. No, what's it giving us? What about vapor style switching? Where's that? The third one. Oh, that yes. One. one there. So it wants, wants something typing in there, does it? Oh, what's oh, that? Oh, it's like a rainbow. Oh, it is a tizzle as well. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's go to there. Maybe a nice we? purple, perhaps. Can yeah. we have a, we'll, we'll have purple. Yes. Okay, we'll add that. Okay, vaping style switching, good. Profile programming. That one's a colour. We'll have red. I don't know what it's doing. Now it's changed it back on that one. All right. Back to purple. There. Configure, that's got to be. 
where I want to be. Oh, God. Set. Click the set LED colours. Right, let's see whether it's changing anything. No. 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 Profile. See what that does. Alrighty. Uh, new profile. Now what does it want us to do? Add something? Click to assign, right one, okay, and do we, I just can't see what you're supposed to do. What's that, atomizer voltage? 4.02. And is that already preset? I take it. Oh. I, I've got no idea, I'm pressing the, oh look, there we go, atomizer power, oh that's telling me where we are, as we press the button up, I, I, I've got to try and put it here. Put the two together as we press the button up you can see ah. right so that's whoa there i'm going to try for the full 25 watts no we're not getting there so i don't know how you stop it adjust power let's slide that back ah all righty and still ah. climbing yeah we must need right we must need to, what do we need to do? We've gone into power, we need to save that I think. Save it, right, we've saved it. Okay. Profile not saved error. Select profiles to save. That one, there, click. Come on, click, that's it. Mellow pulse, pulse attack, flat profile is right two. So tidal wave is right one is what it's telling us here um all righty so let's let's you can see we're confused without <laughs> without proper documentation it's difficult to know what you're doing but this is this is how it is so according to this thing if we go right one we get tidal wave yeah right so i'll try it on closely up we can and let's push it to the right but then it gives you no indication, like on a. I've pushed it to the right. All right. And it's just staying where it is. And if you just push the push the joystick to the so right. It's like a joystick, isn't it? It is. It is, yeah. Mellow pulse, left one. So joystick to the left. That would be me, mellow pulse. Mellow pulse. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think so with that. <laughs> mm. Ah, now you can't hear it. No, you can't. And did you? I pushed it to the left, and then pushed the button flat. Mhm. Mm and that's all right. So I push it to the left, and then push the button flat, and it seems to be. So is is that holding the? Yeah, it seems to be yes. Because you, can, you can't yeah. see the colour change. Can, you no. can't. I think you can if you do it with your index finger. Yes. Oh, you can now. Yes. Which does make it kind of awkward. Yeah. So, so how would you hold that then, on the lower setting? You'd uh, you'd move the joystick sideways, would you? I. It, it kind of looks that way. The, the difficulty I've got, Keith, is that there's there's, there's no book of words there's no instructions i can't find anything that tells you how to use it mm. now as i say it's it's almost certainly pre-release but as i recall i watched a little bit of um, our colleagues across the pond having a look at it in the company of the guy that designed it and they couldn't make it work either mm. um so I'm not, I don't know whether it's just me being a numpty or us being numpties or whatever it is. So the fact that with it not having a display on the, um, the, the, the device to me is a bit of a disadvantage. Um, the bit that, I mean, the, the output from it yeah. can be really nice if you can well, stop it. Can't be with the output. Yeah, if you can get it to a certain point. It's just how you use these various different you see, profiles. You, you compare it with the, the sort of dialing thing where, where you, do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean, yes. Where, you know, that, that, that's a simple adjustment, isn't it? Yes. Well, I, 
My, my understanding, my understanding all of all of this is that it should be a fairly simple adjustment to set up the profiles you want. Yes. But having got, um, and it ha happened, having got a single profile on the EVIC where I can start it at 9 watts, it was dead easy to set. Mm. There's a piece of cake to set. Um, there's a piece of cake to knock it in and you can switch between how you use it on here. Whereas you've got four different profiles, I'm not sure... Well, I suppose if you're using different devices all the time, you might. But then I don't know how many people use different devices on top of the same battery holder during the course of the day. Mm -hmm. And I'm... Well, as you say, it's, it's probably a, a, a prototype where they, they sort of haven't developed... Well, it's not out on the market yet, mm. hence why there yeah. are no instructions. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> it's an interesting concept. And I, I, to some degree, the, the geek in me says that this is going to be a good thing, mm -hmm. but maybe it's Windows software that, that causes me the problem. I'm not entirely sure. But what what does, as, as somebody relatively new to the, uh, mm. the whole notion of all of this, what's, what's your take on it? What would your feeling be? Given that it's going to cost somewhere between 70 and 80 pounds, and given that the modules cost anywhere from $5 to $25 to make it do various different things? Then I would, I would say that, to be honest, the, the hardest thing that I would have with this is, is a display. That's, that's in all honesty, if it, if it, if it goes, keeps to go back to having to plug, plug it into a device yeah. to make necessary changes. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I would find more annoying. If I can't operate it on a device, I, I get a bit lost. I, I'm, as, as viewers will know, I've just got a Mac. <laughs> and, and I struggle enough with the Mac, let alone this. But in, on, the other, on the other side of it, vape-wise, I am impressed at the fact of what it did before when, when it was getting hotter because some people like a really, really hot vape, you yes. know, and... I've never come across anything like that yet. It's, it's definitely powerful. I'll tell you what, we'll take a short break and it'll give us time to yeah. reassess where we are. Yeah. And when we'll come back, we'll kind of, we might not get any, get to, <laughs> hopefully, we might not get to the uh, Grand Vanilla Custard, but I suspect <laughs> no, we will. What? I suspect we will. Um, and when, when we come back, we'll, we'll kind of gather our thoughts and we'll mm. fix microphones and stuff like that. And, and take it on from there. But it's been a very interesting first look. Um, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Save the Six. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we're back in the room. Oop, echo. We're back in the room, and I just needed to confirm that this was a prototype because you may recall last week I was saying that on the Janty site 
it would say it was saying that that the uh, the mid one would take an eighteen six fifty. Yes. And here I have a very slim, slightly purple eighteen six hundred and fifty. It's a Samsung one that came with the Evic, mm. and there's oh, no right. hope. Mm. Right. That's so it is not a gonna, prototype. So it's yeah. it's definitely a prototype. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's kind of whatever it is we're seeing, it's prototypical, and therefore please don't base any buying decisions on what we're seeing at the minute. No. Um, you two would just well, have I'll, I'll just, I'll just there. take some some comfort in, in what Daz has said. It, you know, from what we've seen of it, and as you say, it's just a prototype. Mm. It, it, it's not something for the beginner, no, is it? Absolutely not. Definitely um, not. You would need <coughs> you would need to have got considerable vapor experience for something like yes, for something like uh, the the mid. Absolutely. So I mean, if he's saying that, that's you know, that puts me several categories <laughs> further down in that I wouldn't be able to to handle that. Yeah, well, I've just, just discovered during the course of that that you can, once you've found the temperature you want with your up button or down mm, button, yeah. you can back the, the joystick off to the middle mm. and it stays there. So do you think then that what we were first doing with regarding the temperature, that that isn't really the way it's supposed to be? It's just supposed to be until you find your... I, I, I think, judging by what was going on on the screen, mm. the idea is that you sit down with it, with your device of choice on for, let's say, profile one. Yes. And you watch the meter go around. And when it's when you can drop the joystick back to the centre, mm. and you're happy with it there, and you can hold it there, and it feels right, you make a note of where it is and set your profile so that it's going to give you that wattage or that voltage whichever way you go you can go volt, volts or watts mm -hmm. i think that's what the id i don't know let, let's for argument's sake say you put an eye mist on it mm. right put your eye mist on it at whatever it happens to be yes go by wattage because then it doesn't matter if there's any differences in the in the coil in the eye mist um you press your button up until you've got the pointer and watch the pointer and when you've got it exactly where you want it take it back to the middle it sh I think it'll hold, well, I'll try it, I'll plug it in and see. Um, and it should hopefully... No, it's not found it. It's lost it. No, it's not found it. It's So, yeah, the idea, I would think, is once you've got it recognised, that you would get it up to wherever you're going. Mm. Hold it there. See where it's set, and then set your profile up accordingly for your iMist. Yes. And then if you've got... Um, Oh, I'm with you. So then if you had a vision and you want to put a vision on it, you yes. could set another profile. Set another profile right, for I'm a vision. You, yes. Set another profile for a hellfire yes. and set another profile Absolutely. for a Fogatti. Uh -huh. So that so you've got it set up and your, your profile for the Fogatti might be to start at 15 watts to give it a good heat up. Yes. And then drop it down to 9 for mm -hmm. the rest of it on. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's what it's for. Mm -hmm. So people with multiple different devices. Yes. Now... I'm also going to say the other thing that I did notice, and actually Toby pointed this out to me when he when he gave it to me to bring up today. The um, yeah, close you up you can required here. As you will see, it's a straightforward 510. There are no threads. This is oh. from the people that invented the ego, oh. and there are no ego threads mm. on it, which I hope they're going to put right. Yes. In the production yeah. version, absolutely, um, because it does seem to make a bit of a mockery, really. Yes. From the people that brought you the ego, we are bringing you a five ten connector. It mm. does. I, I think there's a lot more to find out about these. Now, I've got to be honest again, and say that when the Avic first came out, I was quite scathing about it. Mm. Um, I said it was pants, and it was. In the first iteration, it wasn't very good. The second lot of the software sorted it out. I think the hardware needs a little bit of a sort out yes. with this one. Mm. Um, they need to look at the, at the Ego. I don't know how you switch it off. I, I'm not 100% certain on that button. I mean, I like the feature of it moving about, but the button itself, I'm not 100%. I don't know if it, I'm just waiting to hear a click I'm just or something yes. like that, because it's yes. quite soft, isn't it? I've just done the shirt pocket thing. Yeah. And it won't fire. It's not firing. I can't see That's any light. Good. So yes, you've obviously right. got. How do you switch it off? Mm. 
Yeah, it's an. It's going to need a lot more testing. Yeah. yeah. It's going to yeah. need a lot more testing. Yeah. I think that's very, very safe to say. But you can be guaranteed that we'll be doing as much testing on the mid as we can. So, initial impressions then, it looks nice. Yes. Yes. It feels nice. Yes. Yes. We're in two minds about the button. Mm -hmm. Yes. The software is a little bit unfathomable at the minute. Yes. Yes. But we'll get there with mm -hmm. that. It's going to need use. I'm quite liking this fat car, though. It's so long since I've used Cardos uh, now. It's I, I, I've probably I'd, how much has it told? Two and a half mil. I've right. pulled, I've put in there right. and I stopped. Okay. Because uh, and I'd would you have said it was full of two and a half? I could. I could have probably got more in. Right. Okay. I could have probably got more. I think it'll probably take three, three and a half mil, something along those lines. Mm -hmm. Um, the yeah, the mouthpiece is very reminiscent of something else. I have to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it does remind us of the, of the Neo. It's very much like the Neo mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. So, I look, tell you what. Well. Get the Grant's Vanilla Custard out. <laughs> we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave the mid for the time being because it's going to need a lot more looking at. But I wanted to be able to, to let you know that it was here. Um, and we're going to give it a lot more testing and find yeah. out how to use it. Uh, when time is not so pressing. I just really, really wanted to let everybody have a look at it tonight. It looks nice, feels nice in the hand. If they can keep the same sort of look and feel and take the 18650 single battery, great. Um, I've got to say, the charger that's come with it is branded up for them. I'll take the power pack out. Uh, it's branded... No, you did, you did <laughs> yes. I'm having one of those days today. It's it's all this driving about that does it, you know. The charger that comes with it does look rather pleasant. Mid series one oh, quick yes. charger. There it is, and it's uh, it's neat. neat. It's very good. It takes the battery solidly. Mm -hmm. I've had no issue with that. I charged uh, charged a pair of batteries up. Um, red for charging and blue for complete. Right. Right. Well, now, well. being a colour blind boy, oh. I like that. Mm. Because I can tell the difference between red and blue. Yeah. Colour blind people have difficulty with red and green, don't mm. you know? So that's yeah. good. That's good. Um, the batteries are tiny, weeny little things. 550 milliamp hours. But, if, but it would be interesting because if that's the, uh, the prototype and there is going to take a three, um, 18650, then they may well do a charger for an 18650. Yes. You're gonna to have to be really careful with that. Yeah, that's what I. Really careful mm -hmm. with that. If you keep your, if you press your finger forward too far, you're yes. gonna end up ripping the back of your throat mm -hmm. out. <clears throat> anyway, talking about ripping the back of your throat out, that's the janty mate. <laughs> it's been one of those days today. Um, this this Grant's vanilla custard that everybody's been going on about. Yes. You've got it in a vision on top of your. On top of the Z On Z top of the the recovered Z Max. The recovered Z Max. Yes. I'm here to tell you. Daz killed his Z-Max yesterday. I did. I killed it. Well and truly. It committed, committed suicide. Dove off the work surface. It did. Doink. It onto did. the floor. I did so it. So this, this is it, is it? It is. So everybody's on about this. It's it? Everybody is on about this at the moment. Right. The world and his wife's going crackers about yeah. it. This is Grant's Grant Vanilla Custard. Yes. It, yes. it definitely smells vanilla -y. And uh, I mean that is a hundred mil bottle, but as I have already said to you earlier, I haven't vaped all that. Um, it is in various other bottles, and um, I'm just going to get you rigged up to a lie detector test on this, because <laughs> I can see your face. <laughs> no, um, we I heard about it a couple of weeks ago at the same time that Sav did, and Sav got put an order in first, and then I happened to be going over to Sav's one day, and I, I had a sample, and I've and. I've got it's a juice that doesn't lose its flavour. It does not lose its flavour. I can honestly that, like, say it does not lose yeah, its flavour. It definitely doesn't do that. No, you know, it, it doesn't. doesn't go well. No, yeah. it doesn't lose it its smell. Yeah. Yeah. You can it's you can um, choose your ratios between your PG and your VG. So that, for instance, is a 50-50 mix, um, and your nicotine strengths is anything from 0 to twenty four, which that's twenty four. Right. You always manage to find more vapor than me. I don't know how he does, you do it, but he does, he? doesn't he? Does, he does, yes, always. Yeah. It's technique. Yeah. And the fact that I've got a huge, big gob. Right, okay. Well, we wouldn't comment on that, <laughs> <would we? laughs> 
I'm not saying anything. No. I'll just say when I go home and then I go to vape, I've got a flat battery. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yes, exactly. There's no, it, no, I'm going to ask you a question now mm -hmm. because I've got a little piece of video to play in. Can you taste any nuts in it? No. I'll bet this man can. He's back on Saturday. <laughs> He's back on Saturday. So that's that's something to look forward to. Uh, it's uh, SOS. Sutton on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Sutton on Saturday. SOS. Sutton on Saturday, which would be on on Saturday. 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 Oh, no, Nine o'clock. Saturday night. Yeah. Be there or be an oblate spheroid. Mr. Sutton is back. Yes. The nutty vape. The smoke the vape. Andy Sutton. It lo Why nutty? Blackwater vapor is asking why nutty. Why not eat? Wait and see. Wait and see. That's all we're going to say. You can't afford to miss the nuttiness that is Sutton on Saturday. He'll be there. Yeah. Be there or be an oblate spheroid. Right. Absolutely. They're asking in chat what my opinion is on this. If I was into breathing custard, I would be happy to use it. Mm. It's a little bit low on the, on the, the, the nicotine for me. Mm. Um, but as you have seen, I can get good vapour out of it. Yes. Which is good. Um, it's definitely never going to lose its flavour. No. And I would suspect it's an atty killer. You're never going to get the flavour out of the atty. I've never, I've never put in something and then put another juice in it yet to know, to, to see if there's a difference, but I would imagine so. Then again, the, the, I don't know, the ultimate test for me would be the BIM, which is my little rebuildable atomizer, <laughs> because that changes flavour really, really good. So I would be interested to see how it acts on that. Mm. Mm-hmm. You haven't tried it yet? No, I will report back. Yes. That was interesting. Mm. Nearly choked. Yes. Mm. Well, I politely <laughs> declined from trying it. The sort of smell <laughs> we offered it. No, Keith, you can't, you can't no, decline. No. The, the world and his wife is sitting out there waiting for yep. Keith's opinion. It can't go. It has to be done. It's got to be done. I'm looking at chat and everybody's saying, go on, Keith. Yeah. Well, I'm saying everybody. There we go. Visible vapour. It's not as bad as I thought. No. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't. No, no. Go on there, sunshine. There you go. The encouragement here. Go on, Keith. Go on, Keith. Get it in there, man. Come on, Keith. Have a toot from Big Craig. Nice one. Trifle? Yeah, it's like it's like a, yeah. it is. It's like a trifle. It is like a trifle, trifle custard. Yeah, it's a set. I've right, got. Yes. There's more of the skin mm. coming, and I love trifle skin. And mm. um, there's more of the skin coming through. It's eggy as well. Yeah, a little bit eggy, mm. like, a bit like eggy bread. Mm -hmm. And you can the the vanilla's not really overpowering either, and vanilla's quite mild. It's it's um it's a French vanilla. Yes. It's not a. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no, no, it's, 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 it? it's not overpowering at all. I mean, I've got, got no, to see it. a bit unfair yeah. there. Uh, that, yeah. I think, uh, I think by the name uh, alone that a lot of people can get put off, but until trying it, you're not going yeah, to know. It's got quite and, a nice aftertaste. And while those well. two carry on discussing all of this, I've got to say it's time for us to go. Unfortunately, it's been another brilliant hour. So from Daz. Good night all. From Keith. Good night. And from all of us, from all of the team, Kat and Sav and Daz and everybody else, good night and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to tune in on Saturday for Saturn on Saturday.
Sapers Eggs. Sponsors of the Haze Hour.